What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today, people, I would like to announce that Call of Duty Modern Warfare no longer has a season pass. I thought this would take like 10 more years to announce, but this is crazy. It's official. No more season pass in the Call of Duty franchise. But, but guys, take a, take a look at this. It actually says that there will be free DLC maps available for everyone so that means that none of the player base is going to be separated from the original player base so that's a good thing you know that's a good thing that everybody gets to play together now and all the new maps are actually in rotation compared to the previous Call of Duties because you know the previous new maps were actually in the season pass and people who didn't buy it are pretty much left out and just separates the base by a lot so I'm glad this is happening now because I know in the future I mean it would have been too long and the franchise would have been dead by there and also the season pass wouldn't even be worth it anymore it actually hasn't been worth it since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare ever since they introduced the supply drops because in the supply drops you got like free skins, free weapons, and uh, a bunch of other camels and all that stuff. You know, there was a lot of fun things to earn from the supply drops compared to the season pass which only gave you free maps and that's about it. So uh, in the previous years, you know, those maps will not even be in the rotation at all. They would just appear that one time on special when they came out and there will be like uh, new DLC maps 24-7 and then that's it. You know, that's the only time they will appear. So uh, I'm glad they're getting rid of the season pass because it wasn't even worth it over the past few years, especially with Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, you get all the cool stuff on the battle pass instead, which you can earn free tiers from and also get new skins, new skins for your characters, new camos, and, you know, you get new weapons and a bunch of other cool stuff compared to the season pass, which only gives you a one new map, one retro maps, and also a zombie map and one blackout character. And that's about it you think that's fun i think most of the fun stuff is actually on the battle pass so um it's a good move by them because i know the battle pass can actually earn them more money compared to the season pass because with the season pass you just buy it once and that's about it you just spend 50 bucks and you move on to the new maps while the battle pass you can actually buy tiers and every tier is like a dollar or something like that so you can actually like spend 50 bucks for the first season and then when the second season comes in you spend another 50 bucks third season another 50 bucks just to get ahead in the tiers and unlock everything as fast as possible so that what makes you know gamers waste more money into the game which means Activision will be earning more money than just 50 bucks a year so uh, it's a good business decision by Activision but also a good you know way to earn more awards by the gamers so it's actually a win-win for both sides um, because you know the player, the player base doesn't separate and also we get free awards along the way so pretty much Activision is giving in into giving us more cool stuff for free instead of locking it behind a paywall like in Call of Duty Ghosts and several other Call of Duty games out there so um, it is a quite of a good move I'm glad the supply jobs are no longer around I'm glad you know most of these things most of these scummy you know moves are no longer around instead we're gonna get free stuff but uh, for those people who like to gamble of course those are the only ones gonna, who's gonna be spending money on a freaking battle pass that you can earn for free <laughs> i believe it's gonna happen guys where somebody's gonna spend 150 you know within like two seasons just to unlock all the tiers right away you don't even need to spend money if you're good at the game you don't need to spend money to unlock all the tiers to be honest i mean i'm like what tier 47 right now in black ops 4 I don't, I don't even spend a single penny on the game well actually it's just on the base standard game but on the you know on the extra skins and the extra you know battle tier passes i mean i, I didn't spend any money at all so most of the most of the things i've earned for free in the game so um it is quite of a win-win situation for both sides for the gamers and for the company um hopefully call the mono warfare doesn't you know get us with the microtransactions hopefully they don't lock certain things like uh like a skin or something which because they're, they're already doing it right now with black ops 4 with some of the special skins but there's still even more special skins in the battle pass at the same time so um either way you can choose to spend money or spend money on another character you want to use and you know it's just a, a more of a choice now so um it's quite a, a two steps forward and one step back at the same time because I know the microtransactions are going to uppercut us in the jaw. But uh, it is it is quite of a good thing because the DLC maps are for free now. So uh, I don't know, man. What is your opinion about this whole situation? Make sure you check out charlieintel.com for more information about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And also check out my videos so you guys can hear some of the opinions I got about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. So far, I think it's a positive game so far. And hopefully it doesn't get worse once the game releases. And also, I heard there's no specialist in the game, which I'll probably talk in my next video. So that is it, guys. Make sure you leave a like on the video and also subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty news.